with that, we welcome you into the CBS 2 News at 5. I'm Joe Donlan. And I'm Marie Saavedra. His salacious, self-named television show turned him into a household name. Jerry Springer passed away today at his home in the Chicago suburbs. For decades, his top-rated show was a guilty pleasure for millions, featuring real people revealing shocking and sordid details about their lives. CBS 2 Suzanne Lemonyo in the newsroom for us, gathering reaction all day about his influence, good and bad, Suzanne, from those who knew him. Joe Marie, there was no lack of outrageous antics on that show for which Jerry Springer would become known as a talk show legend. And those who knew him said the man who came from a family of Holocaust survivors was one to never take things too seriously. We're getting down and dirty with our next story. It was the controversial TV show that had everyone talking in the 90s and beyond. There was a show that the Warner Saunders and I walked in on. A 500 pound hooker stole my man. I said, Wow, that's the title of the show. But the point is, it, it garnered ratings. NBC5 News contributor Art Norman knew Jerry Springer when his talk show was taped at NBC in Chicago starting in 1991. Norman says with the huge ratings came drama. But the negative side was, you know, they wanted Jerry Springer to do your final thoughts at the end of every 10 o'clock newscast. And that forced Ron Majors and Carol Marine to quit. Words are not adequate to express the thanks I feel. Norman says what many don't know is before Springer rose to fame with his show, he was the mayor of Cincinnati and then became what we remember most about Elvis, an Emmy Award winning anchor at the NBC affiliate in Cincinnati. He was the ultimate um, skilled professional as a journalist and as a TV talk show host when it came to making people feel comfortable and getting people to open up to him. Patty Lamberti is the director of multimedia journalism at Loyola University Chicago. Jerry Springer was great because he introduced us to parts of society that the media often ignores. Tom Schnecke is the vice president of operations and engineering at CBS2 Chicago. But in the fall of 1991, he was part of the first crew that built the set for the Jerry Springer show. Schnecke says his time on the show was a unique experience. No two minutes were the same, much less hours or days. To make something look that spontaneous took something very, very well put together. And there was so much planning went into that show. The show had over 30 wireless microphones so that every guest could be mic'd, so that it could be ready at all times. Reaching former NBC5 anchor Carol Marine by phone, she told me she sends her condolences to Springer's family, especially his daughter, who he loved deeply. Marine's also saying that it was never personal between her and Jerry Springer. It was purely a professional difference. In the newsroom, Suzanne Lemonio, CBS2 News. Suzanne, thank you. You can read more about a time that a city council hearing literally turned into the Jerry Springer show. We have that content on our website right now, cbschicago.com.